Okay, next we're going to actually attach the character together and then be able to make them move. And a couple materials you need are um, a push pin, something sharp that has a point at the end. You also need either paper clips or some ties or some wire that you might have. Okay, don't poke like this. So don't push this into your finger. That's a no-no. So what I usually do is I have a split between my fingers and then I poke in between them. So I'm not poking into my fingers. Okay, the last thing you wanna do is poke into your finger. If you have brads, these will be the easiest thing to use. So if you have these, I would use these. Okay, so what you wanna do is you want to find a piece of scrap cardboard and just see how much pressure you need to poke in to your my cardboard. And I can poke into it this way. Okay, and that will also give me a hole through my cardboard. So, I'm gonna move my character off to the side. The first thing you need to do is figure out how many joints you have. So I have a head and the body, so that's one joint. Two shoulders, so that's three. Two hands, four or five. Two legs, seven, and two feet, eight, nine. So I have nine joints. Okay, so if I have nine joints, I need nine paper clips or I need nine brads. I am going to create my character with brads and paper clips so you can see the difference. So, needing nine paper clips, you want to take your paper clips and stretch them out. If you have what is called needle nose pliers, great, use them. If not, you can do this with your hand, it just won't be super smooth. So you're gonna stretch it out and try to make it as flat as possible. You wanna make sure you're using a small paper clip. The smaller, the better. So I have a small one, but they do make smaller ones. And if you have a smaller one, use it. You do not want these ones, unless you have a wire cutter which you know, would be amazing. Okay, so if I'm using this, I can just straighten this out with my needle nose pliers, or that's pretty straight with my finger. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half. So I just bend it, and I'm holding the two edges, and then I'm just gonna press this together as best my fingers will get, get it. If you have these, you can use these or another pair of pliers. That's great. Now the thing, next thing you're going to do is you're going to bend down just this little piece. And you want to make this as small as you possibly can, especially around the neck and the head. Okay. Again, if you have your pliers, you're going to do it with your pliers. So this one I'll do it with my pliers. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just gonna fold tip. You really only want this much. This is how much I had when I'm folding it with my hands, which totally is fine. But if you're using needle nose, do the smaller one. So I would make these for all nine of your, of your joints. If you're using these twist ties, you could do the same exact thing with the twist tie. It's gonna be a lot easier and try to make it as small as possible. Like that, okay. So now I'm gonna take my head and my body and I'm gonna place them on top of each other. My push pin. And about the center, I'm gonna to put it where that dot is, but you wanna find the center and you're gonna push down into the cardboard and then you I kind of want to move it around a little bit, and I have this one. Okay, now putting them back together, you're going to make your makeshift 
hole. Makeshift brad and push it through your two holes. Do one at a time so I can get closer. And these holes are smaller, so you might want to make them a little bit bigger. Okay. And there's his head. And then I'm going to lay it flat. So I want to make sure I'm pressing flat down, not on my card cardboard, but on a hard surface. And then I'm going to take these two, and then I'm going to holding it down. I'm going to flatten it. Now it's going to look like this, and I can just kind of bend them into place. Okay, and then there is my little head. Now he's not going to leave flat anymore because he's got that on the back of him. Okay, now now continue for the rest of your pieces. You want to make sure you don't get too close to the edge because then it could just rip right off. And you want to think about where is it going. So I want to like put it here. I want, kind of want to put it right here. Okay. And then I can put this in here. brads for this one. Put the little brad inside the hole. And then again, this just flattens out in the back. And then I have a little arm. Do the same thing on the other side. I kind of want to make sure that his arms are as equal as I can get them to be. If you're using the ties, I would cut them in half. And then fold them. You don't need these to be super, super big. Okay, if you can cut the um, paper clips in half, then cut them in half. Okay. I'm only using the wire, uh, the pliers because I have them. If you don't have them, you don't really need them. I'm just being, I have them, so I might as well use them. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the arms. Now, I know his arms are super long, but you know, I kind of like it. I kind of like how long they are. Makes them kind of funny looking. Okay, I'm using different types of um, brads or whatever you want to call them so that you guys can see the difference in all of them. But for you, I would just pick one. hole's not very big, that's why it was hard to get it in. They're uneven, see how they're uneven? One's short and one's long, and that's why I was having a hard time getting them in there. Okay, if you're using the twist ties, I would twist them first and then lay them flat on the back. So I twisted them once or twice before I laid them flat. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna make the holes a little bit bigger first.
again, you want to lay it flat. I'm going to twist it before I lay it flat. And if you have the needle nose pliers, them down to make them a little bit flatter. Okay, so we have the paper clip, the brads, the twist ties, and have two more to go. This time I'm going to poke two holes because I'm having such a hard time. Four. I poked my holes and I didn't even get my pants. materials you have you're going you know it didn't take me that much longer to do the paper clip ones or the ties as it did the brads all right so use whatever you have if you have pliers you know maybe your dad or your mom or your whoever you live with your grandparents they might have pliers you never know until you ask so if you have them use them please so you're not really trying to hurt yourself I'm just pressing this down just to reinforce it. It doesn't have to be done. It's just I just like to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, and then there is your puppet. Now I made one. My little puppet, I can move him around. When I'm moving this around, I would want to make sure hide you know I can come back if I'm using the twist ties I can come back here and cut these if I want to make them shorter so I don't see them over here okay so bye bye for now